A very grim discovery near Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. The FBI says it has recovered a body likely to be 22-year-old Gabby Petito. So as her family waits for an autopsy to be conducted, tomorrow authorities are still searching for her fiancé, Brian Laudry, in Florida. Joining us this morning, former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney, Peter Frankel. Nice to have you back on Good Day New York. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Good morning and uh, condolences to the Petito and Schmidt families. I cannot imagine what they're going through at this time. Yeah, as you know, they're from our area. Uh, Brian Laudry, meanwhile, he was a person of interest for the last week or two. Now he's gone missing. Peter, how did that happen? I mean, when someone's a person of interest, you don't keep an eye on them? Well, look, you know, person of interest means different things to different people. To me, it means a suspect. The fact of the matter was that because her disappearance took place in Wyoming and he was in Florida, there really wasn't enough to hold him in Florida or charge him with the crime. But I do think that law enforcement really caught a break um, when his parents reported him missing. And the reason I say that is because he had lawyered up. He was in the comfort of his home. Law enforcement had no access to him. But now that he's on the run and in the event that they're able to find him, you can bet that even though he does have counsel, that they're going to do everything that they can to try to get some information from him, um, which could help them in understanding what it is that took place and, and how it is that Gabby died. So we're all hoping that they find him, but uh, we're also hoping that when they do, if and when they do find him, they're going to be able to get some important information from him um, through speaking with him in a way that they wouldn't have had access to him had he stayed at home. And meanwhile, Peter, social media is kind of playing an effect uh, or some kind of role in this investigation. People, TikTok users mm -hmm. and stars and this one, that one, they say they have video, they came across Brian Laundry. Laundry. Uh, has social media, can social media play a part in this investigation? 100%, and it's actually huge, Rosanna, because if you, if you think about what's transpired and the information that we do have with respect to what potentially took place, look, number one, we know that he came home alone um, on September 1st. We know that he immediately retained counsel upon his return, which obviously raises some red flags. But more than that, we know that his mother received a text on or about August 30th, which indicated no... Uh, that, that no service in Yosemite, which people are starting to think is very suspect um, because that was never a place where they were supposed to go. And then you have a story today whereby there's apparently video of Brian reading a book called Annihilation, which uh, supposedly involves a story of four women in the wilderness, three of whom are killed. Then there's video that was provided by the public that showed the van in the area close by to where she was found. So these are the sorts of clues that law enforcement will put together in forming a, a circumstantial case against Brian. Wow, yeah, I didn't know there was video know. of him reading that book. I didn't know that either. That's pretty... Ugh, doesn't bear, bear well for him. Um, I do want to ask you something about the Laundry family. This is from police spokesman uh, J Josh Taylor saying the Laundry family told police that their son drove to the reserve with just his backpack, but Brian's car was found at their home. So do you think that, I mean, this doesn't look well for the Laundry family as well when you kind of take a, take a step back and take a look at the whole big picture? Exactly, Bianca. And, and my understanding of what took place was that he went to this reserve on a Tuesday Apparently the car was found there on Wednesday and driven back. Now, if he's in the reserve, why do you bring his car back? Yeah. Um, how is he supposed to get back if you took his car? And more than that, if you take his car on Wednesday, why do you not report him missing until Friday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very strange, very strange sequence of events, which I think certainly raise a, a red flag with respect to what the, the, the laundry parents know um, and information that they have about where he is and, and what he's been doing. So do you think that they would maybe keep a better eye on his family now, now that you cannot find Brian, but maybe his family knows something that they'd keep a better eye on them? Well, I think what's gonna happen, Bianca, is that if and when the uh, autopsy reveals that she died as the result of a homicide, meaning at the hands of another, if in fact they're able to make that determination, mm -hmm. then this investigation is gonna completely turn around and 
even though you've already seen a, a, a huge search for Brian, you are going to find that family members, parents, um, and people that he know are going to be questioned and part of this investigation in a way that perhaps they weren't before. Yeah. If you want to, it's up to you. You can, can go, go to jail. You can't be. Can I go to jail? Can I go to jail? You can't because we don't have a charge for you. Now tomorrow, if you wanted to be get somewhere she can stay, tomorrow if you want. Tomorrow, if you wanted to. It's up to you. You can, can go, I go to jail. You can't because we don't have a charge for you. Now tomorrow, if you wanted to be get with her again tomorrow. Yeah, take your radio. <laughs> if you wanted to, if you Sorry. want to be with her again tomorrow, because it's after five, so our office is closed, you can go to the police department, fill out a waiver to drop the no contact order, so you guys can still be together. But she's going to have a court date online in a week or two. She's going to have to show for her court date online and answer. The prosecutor might drop it. They might say, "You're, if you, for example, if you're not willing to pursue it, if that's your decision." It, 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 anyway, I just want to say, it definitely is. I'm not going to pursue anything. Too much. My parents say I love her. It's just a little squabble. I'm sorry that I had to get so public. Um, but uh, so I just want to get like the checklist of things I got to do to get rid of it. So if you want her back, date, well, she'll get a paper with a court date. Okay? How do I get rid of it? <laughs> well, the court date has to be attended. <laughs> Well, the court date has to be attended in order for them to decide whether they need to continue or drop it. 